behind our, our appreciation and also that of the education family for the wonderful support we have received from the uh, men and women in military. The military establishment has been so supportive of our educational institutions. And we thank you for your service to our country. We thank you for the huge sacrifice that is being made to ensure that education continues even in times of conflict, in difficult environments. And uh, we also want to commend the fact that we have seen a real, if you like, um, slowdown in the rate of such uh, challenges in the recent past. So we are able to now ensure that schools will run without disruptions and without the unsavory influence of attack by either militants, kidnappers, and all that. So we, on behalf of the education family, are very grateful for this. We also want to underline the fact that we have partners with um, your training institutions and even your tri-service institutions, especially NDA. In the area of research, we are also dealing with uh, Command and Staff College in Chaiji, we're dealing with your, some of your establishments and research. And even in terms of the defense intelligence sector, we are also uh, collaborating. But most of all, in the area of research and development, we see it as a major frontier for collaboration. Because um, research into security services, into the development of uh, defense industries, and being able to uh, service that sector is one area that um, we can express our national aspirations as a people. As we all are aware, there are countries that build their entire economy on their defense industries, and the U.S. is a very good example. Most of the advances that you see translate into the economic well-being and um, their resource base have their origins in military research and military involvement in development of new techniques, new technologies, and new approaches to solving societal problems and also providing solutions that would be of benefit. So we are glad that uh, we can have this conversation. We thought we should come and pay this cost visit to again renew the assurances that as an institution, not only are we sustaining the level of our investments in your institutions, NDA, AFIT in Cardinal, for example, have received and continue to receive allocations from Ted Fund. We also have the Army University in Bill and so many of the other institutions that we are collaborating with. Uh, we want to be able to renew this uh, level of support and collaboration and to thank you for the new ways and means and the stability you brought into our academic calendar through your wonderful support for civilian authority and also support from Mr. President. And uh, for the armed forces, we can only continue to appreciate what you are doing. We on our own, we know the importance of security. Again, because without it, one can't even sit down to think. Uh, so we know it's very, very important for the primary schools. We have this uh, safe school initiative we're doing. We have advanced that also to all other educational institutions. Uh, everywhere we had our main, one of the key areas we told them, make sure the schools are secure. Uh, which, because without that, as a nation, we can't even move forward. Uh, so I want to say a very big thank you. And uh, just now, we're just coming back from the the DICON. The DICON is celebrating the 60th anniversary. So we started yesterday, we just ended today. And again, um, to what you are doing, I think the mandate now is for DICON to be able to provide the platform for every other um, manufacturer to come in. But what we realized from the security uh, incidents we're having is that uh, we've been fighting Boko Haram for 15 years, still counting. One of the areas that we had challenges were, were unable to get the equipments we needed. Again, some countries, for their own reasons, have denied us, even with our money. It's been difficult getting those things, and it has made this thing to prolong. Um, so we're happy with this new mandate by the president. Now, original manufacturers are coming to establish in Nigeria so that we can be a major hub, we can produce. And we have local uh, industries that have been producing. So now it will enhance, and then now we too will be big players. Our hope is that we start 
for our neighboring countries, they too come on here and and not to come and patronize us uh, to save our foreign currency, and then the employment it will also generate. I think those are areas we're looking at. So uh, it's something we really, really appreciate. And I want to thank you again for all the support you are giving to NDA and all our institutions. It has actually boosted our capacity and our ability to do more. And I know we will continue as uh, Oliver Twist will continue to ask for more. For we have the Defense uh, R&D Research and Development uh, Department, which is also very. Uh, what we are trying to do is observe in the system we have different people operating in silos, so we are coordinating everybody to be together so that we can enhance. Because most times, what you are doing, somebody else is doing it better, and so if you don't collaborate, you don't know that there are better ways of doing things, and then it might, uh, you know. We are also having international partners that we partner together with them. Uh, to do uh, what we are doing. Uh, I think those are general areas that we will continue to do. Uh, so on the general time, we want to say thank you. Thank you for coming and we rest assured that whatever it takes for us to make sure that you succeed, education continue to grow within Nigeria, we will continue to do that.